Hi, I'm Leanne Reimel, Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know that you can use Utility Bar to roll out features like custom hierarchy reports to your end users? That's right. You can add all sorts of functionality to the Utility Bar across apps in your Salesforce environment and customize that for exactly what those users need when they're in those apps. So let's take a look at how you can use the Utility Bar to add a My Open Deals report to your app. So we're here in our Sales Lightning app. This is a standard navigation app. It's not a console app. And we do have a couple items like macros and notes in our utility bar, but we've got this great report chart that we created for my deals next 90 days. Now this report is looking at all of the deals that are closing over the next 90 days. It's grouping um, by month and by deal name and it's filtering by my opportunities. So this is a report that is looking at ownership of the deals in order to filter which results it's surfacing. Now let's go into setup and let's go into our app manager and we're going to customize our lightning app to add this to the utility bar. I've got all of my apps here in my lightning experience app manager and I've got my sales lightning sales app. So this is, as I said, a standard con navigation app. It's not a console app. We've got our branding here. We can see what type of app it is. And then utility items is where we see all of the items we can add to the utility bar. So these are all of those standard components that are available for the utility bar. We're gonna drag report chart on. And when we add a report chart, we have a few options that we can customize here. So we're gonna customize the label. Um, the label is what your user sees when it's in the bottom of the bar. And so you wanna make sure that's something descriptive. And it's also fun to pick a good utility icon. So we've got all of these great lightning icons to choose from. Let's go ahead and add a chart. You can adjust the width and height. We're not gonna do that now, but you can fine tune that to make sure it displays just how you like. Now we're in the properties of this component. So the properties is looking at what is the actual report chart that this is looking at. So it has to be a report that is saved in a folder that others have access to, and also a report that has a report chart already added on the report builder. So I'm gonna select my deals next 90 days. Now I've got this filter by, and that's something that's inherited from the re record page app builder, but we can't actually filter on the utility bar. And so let's go ahead and save that and add it. So even though we couldn't filter, this, because it's on the utility bar, will automatically reflect whoever is the viewer of this utility bar. So we see our label for my deals next 90 days. And then when I open it, I've got my report chart that's shown here. I've got my refresh button as an end user. And if I click into view report to expand it, I also have the hover details that I like from charts, then your users can expand that report. So this is just another great tool in your admin toolbox as you're thinking about how to customize that app experience for your users and help deliver the functionality and the data that they need to them wherever they are in their Lightning apps. I hope you have fun building things with the utility bar. Make sure to check out this blog on admin.salesforce.com that details some of the other standard components you can use in utility bar and how to think about utility bar um, at, in context of all of the app building that you're doing and customizing you're doing. So thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time.